couple of ourselves. Yeah. All right. Um, welcome back to Whiskey Buds. I'm Kurt. And I'm Billy. And I, I don't know. I mean, we're just going through our hundred whiskeys with uh, with Billy. So today we have a long-awaited episode because I've been being bugged by it. Uh, Larry recommended or asked us to check out the Ledoit series, which, you know, the truth is, um, I don't know anything about this whiskey other than it's a blend. Hmm. Straight whiskey finished in wine barrels, 40%. I know it's a blend and it's uh, sourced. And uh, the Just Ledoit is from Chris Ledoux, the country singer that sung a lot about being in Wyoming. So... Well, well I'm yeah. excited for today because we haven't filmed for a while because oh. we've been busy yeah. and we've been having a rough day. Have you? Well, rough week. Rough, well, oh, man. rough month. Well, <laughs> rough year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, I was like, yeah, some, tasting some whiskey ought to just really hit the spot, you know? Yeah, I hope so. We'll see how good this stuff is. If I can get it open try not to stab myself on. I know that's not the most elegant way to open a bottle is it no okay that's good enough ha. all right well I would tell you about this whiskey but I already did everything I already know so is it is it true that whiskey takes all your problems away um not that I know of Let's I guess see. we'll have to find out huh We'll have to give him another one. <laughs> Apparently, he's having a, a rough day. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Is it? I don't know. I didn't smell her to do anything. I no, didn't. you just drink it. You're like, hey, all right. <laughs> oh, no, I got. Do you? I get it sweet. You got, you got sweet. You got. I don't know. There's something in there. I think it's a, I think the sweetness, is, well, other than from being a straight bourbon, is also the wine casks. Hmm. So. I better put this back in there so nothing bad happens. Hmm. Finished in wine barrels. Yeah. You definitely do get a little hint of that, that like a fruity wine on the taste. From Laramie, Wyoming, huh? Yeah. Well, that's where they, like, blended it and bottled it from uh what's the, the 1890 spirits laramie wyoming so yeah straight whiskey finished in wine barrel so it's straight whiskey which it says whiskey not bourbon so straight means should be mean at least two years old in the barrels and then whiskey meaning they might use a different mash bill than uh the bourbons, but I don't know. I think it's pleasant, easy to drink. Um, the one we got is. says double cask, and there's like a single cask or something. And Larry had actually, he had tried one of their like liqueurs, like cinnamon clove or something. I don't know, something similar to that. One of the liqueurs, and I was like, ah, we haven't done any liqueurs. We're just going to stick with straight whiskey. So is this one of Larry's favorites, or? I don't know if he's actually even tried this particular one, but he liked the liqueur, so he said, hey, how about you try this? And oh. So I said, okay. Well. So, Larry, here it bad. is. Um, yeah, honestly, it's, there's not a lot of complexity to it, but it's it goes down smooth. It's easy to drink. It's got a little bit of that fruit note from the wine. You can pick that. Can you pick that up? Yeah. It's, hmm, I don't think it's really, it's a tiny bit fruity, but it's uh, not, it's not fruity, but it is sweet. No, yeah. But it's not like a sugar sweet. No. It's like the caramel sweetness from the. The whiskey and the bourbon. The, no, not bourbon, but whiskey, what yeah. We, what was that, the crown or something? The, yep. That was kind of caramely, sugary sweet. Yeah. This isn't like that. It's No. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, the sweetness comes off different, which is why I think it's from the wine barrels and not from the the whiskey itself or the wine finish anyway, sir. Wine cask finish. So I yeah. think what you do is you just take a shot right away. 
and then right. and then it's good yeah. after that. <laughs> We'll have him try that from now on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So, where's this rate for you? Would well, you Would you pick up a bottle and and sip on it at home? I didn't even get a, a nasty face on this one. Hmm. And just like down it goes, and it's got I don't know. There's a a little bit of flavor in there that I don't like. I can't tell if it's it? just the alcohol or if it's the, like something else. But it's like a Almost it like a bitterness, maybe. Well, slightly sour. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Okay. It doesn't yeah, it's last not quite bitter. Long. It's not quite sour, but it's in there, huh? Yeah. But it's it like some weird little note that. Yeah, like when you first taste it, it's there, but then it just disappears. Yeah. Yeah, it's not there long, yeah. and the aftertaste is really good. Yeah, it doesn't last like a, a real long time. The aftertaste, not compared to some of these other ones. Uh, this one is only forty percent. You know, eighty proof. So. Hmm. It's not as strong as a lot of the others. And I noticed that a lot of the more strong ones generally tend to stick with you longer. Yeah. I, or the I stronger don't, ones. I think I could drink a lot of this. <laughs> is that is that because it's good or because the kind of day you're having? Or week you're having? <laughs> or month? Year. <laughs> <laughs> this is your, your 2020 whiskey right here. All right. I don't know. It just feels like, yeah. like um, I, I don't know. It just goes down so easy. And I don't. I don't feel like I just want to sit here and sip it and savor the flavor. It's just like just easy to drink. Easy yeah. to drink, and I gotta I gotta agree with that. Like if you need to get your night going, this would this yeah <laughs> this would do it. Yeah, something when you're not looking to uh, to have too much complex flavors like some of the other whiskeys we've had, like that 1920 or the uh, yeah Fire and Cane or the Brimstone, you know, that are challenging like we had last episode. Yeah, but yeah, just. Good easy sipper. All right. Well. Yeah, I like it. Look at that. But we found one that he does enjoy. Actually, we'll we'll find out how he how he likes it compared to 1920. Oh, is that going to be in a taste test? Yeah. Mm. Last week. Last <laughs> week. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. And then <laughs> till next week. Uh, cheers, everybody. <laughs>